soon, our ACE is, is just is closing in on running its 500th mile with the organization, has moved out and has its own place now, is currently employed, is a very busy man, or as he was hard to track down. <laughs> and we're honored to have him here tonight to say a few words about his experience and to get you guys pumped up. And uh, he's a, a fantastic person, and I'll let him do the talking from here. So, here's Morgan. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Reese. My friend called me Reese. And I've been running with Back on My Feet since January 23rd. And last year. Yeah, last year. <laughs> and, and, then, and that, and this, so since that time has passed, I have run 455 miles. I, I ran a Broad Street 10 miles. I ran a Philadelphia distance run 13 miles. And uh, I have just seen a, a tremendous change in myself, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It, it's, it's just been a blessing to be associated with my team. And what I had decided that I would tell you from my perspective of my experience is that you're going to meet people who have lost hope or are depressed, who have had to tuck their tail between their legs, admit to a lot of their shortcomings, have probably had everything they've never worked for taken away from them through bad decisions or unfortunate circumstances. You're going to be very important to the people that you give love to. You are going, you have, you're not going to know for a while. But well, somebody is going to come to you and tell you one day how highly they regard you. Somebody is going to come to you and say, Coach, you remember the first day we ran that first mile? Coach, how can I get better at this? You know? And one day you're going to be a part of somebody's life and it's going to be an indivisible union that you bond with those people. God bless your heart, your courage, and your strength for deciding to give back or pay it forward. And I really have a lot of admiration for it. Especially when we're talking about this on the way up in the car. The younger people, I mean, I'm 42 now. I can remember being 23 buying my first house and building a privacy fence and cutting my grass just so. I've had it all, and I've lost it all, and I'm going to get it back. And I've learned never to take anything for granted. And I've learned that as it is in life, the road keeps coming, so you have to keep running. And I would just offer you thanks and praises for your decisions. I want you to know that with my whole heart, I have nothing but respect for you. And I wish you the joy and the peace, the happiness, the satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment that I feel being on this side of it. And that I see in the eyes of the volunteers or the coach when I call or I text and I say, I just ran 12 miles in an hour and 56 minutes. You know? So I just, that's what I had to say. Um, a lot of hard work, a lot of energy has been burned, a lot of feelings have been hurt, and a lot of progress has been made, thanks to Ann Mallow. Ann Mallow.